Justin Hawkins writes again, again. Good day to you. It is I, Justin Hawkins. This is Justin Hawkins writes again. Please like, subscribe, sign up for the alerts. Um, today I'm doing comments. I'm going to get stuck straight in because this is the most fun part for me. Except for being nice. I like being nice as well. I'm going to try and do a sort of combination of those things. Brian, Brian, two first names, uh, potential, potential little 80s music star, a la George Michael or, um, or even Elton John. Um, but Brian, Brian, he says, uh, <laughs> do you deserve the hype? I got offered free tickets for your new tour. I won't be seeing you. So that seems suspiciously vague. Which tour do you, are you referring to? Are you referring to a whole tour? That's a lot of tickets. I mean, even though they are very reasonably priced, uh, links in the description. Um, I feel like that's a lot of money's worth of tickets to just turn your nose up at. You should probably try and sell it on um, to somebody who would actually like to find out for themselves whether the hype is justified. If you're not going to come to the show, just just have a little rest at home, I think. Give your, give your thumbs a rest and pop one of the thumbs into your mouth, suckle at it while your mother, or if your mother has indeed passed away, I'm sorry for that, um, the ghost of your mother in that instance, just strokes the, the last few wispy hairs that remain on the, the little island at the front of your head, um, just gently caressing you and saying, there, there, Brian, Brian, it's all right. You don't have to listen to that nasty man with his opinions that don't exactly align with yours. Um, don't bother clicking on the, the video. Just um, react to the title because um, it will save us electricity. And it's about time you went and got a paper round or something. I know you're in your mid-30s to 50s. You should start contributing to the household, really, because all that electricity that you're wasting, I have to pay for it from beyond the grave. And I'm getting a bit lost here. What? It, and then, But yeah, so just go and get a paper round, start contributing to society at large, and um, off you fuck. Monkey Dust 77 says, I think I actually like you. Strange. Seems like people with a personality are easy to hate online, especially people who aren't worried about being slightly offensive. <laughs> Feels like I'm coming out. I like you, in capital letters, with a, with a kiss as well. Ah, well, I don't know what to say. I'm flattered. I really am. Thanks, Monkey Dust 77. I like you too. Um, let's not give it a name let's just explore it and see where it takes us um, keep coming back and uh, long may this flirtation continue thank you funny F space U space N space N space I who says I'll do as much as to listen to a word you say the moment you don't live in a tax haven and as a member of the mega rich contributed to the British coffers <laughs> um, how many members of the mega rich do you see on Cameo for example, which is the, the video service. I'm, I do that. I do that a lot. I sing happy birthday to a lot of people um, because I think I just, I love bringing that kind of joy. And despite being a member of the mega rich, I just really enjoy singing happy birthday to people. Um, the other thing I would say is uh, I would dispute, um, you know, the, the, the sort of clumsy labelling of Switzerland as a, as a tax haven. I don't think it is anymore. There used to be a way that um, unscrupulous businessmen, probably arms dealers and anybody who wanted to do money laundering, they used to be able to open an account in um, Switzerland just using a number and then the Swiss banks would refuse to share any information about the, the money that was passing through this account um, to any of the tax authorities. And this created a lot of diplomatic tension. And Switzerland doesn't like diplomatic tension. So about four or five years ago, they stopped doing that. Um, so it's actually impossible to to dodge tax. I, I paid income tax in this country, always have. In fact, the first, first year I did a tax return in Switzerland, it cost me more than it would have done in England um, on account of the fact that there are certain things that you can offset against tax. Everybody does it. Uh, you can't do that necessarily here. So... Um, I just think that uh, wherever you live, you pay tax. Tax follows you around. It's, it's one of the realities of living. Um, so for an, for an individual point of view, I don't think there is such a thing as a tax haven. It certainly isn't Switzerland. Um, the other thing I would say is, with regards contributing to the British coffers, um, if you 
I'm going to talk about corporation tax. It's going to get a little bit boring, but I'll try and keep it brief. Um, in Switzerland, corporation tax is 8%. Uh, in the UK, it's 20%. So you'll find a lot of um, you know, international businesses will have their sort of European head offices in, um, in Switzerland because they pay less corporation tax, less than half is the normal place. Um, all you need to do that is have one of, th- one of the directors resident in Switzerland. And the darkness does have that. I, I am resident in Switzerland, have been for nine years now. Um, but uh, we don't. We, all of our businesses are held in the UK. We pay more corporation tax and we elect to do that. We, we could go to Switzerland, but we haven't done it because we are and we enjoy contributing to the British coffers. So um, my advice to you would be find out a little bit about what you're talking about before you make accusations that are possibly even libelous, you know. Sean Brenner says, Hello, Justin. I left a mean comment on here the other day. Casual assholery is sociopathic and dehumanising to us both. I apologise to you and I wish you well. I'm sorry. Um, Sean, thank you very much for your apology. I think it goes a long way, really. I, s- I do see a lot of shitty remarks on here, and I often think, well, if if they kind of knew what they were talking about or understood the reality of being a human being in this position, then they might apologise, um, but only if they're a decent person. And you are a decent person, evidently, and I'm really pleased that you're still around. Um, keep coming back, and I'll see you in the comments section elsewhere. Cheers. Adam says, Justin, can you feel it when we all sing along to the theme song? I feel something. I really do. I think it's getting there. I think somebody said, uh, oh, you know, I I often see the ones, the comments that say things like, go back to the old, go back to the old theme tune. I wondered if it would be worth considering a a hybrid Mm. so that absolutely nobody likes it. Justin Hawkins writes, again. Again, again. Nope, that's shit. <clears throat> but anyway, thanks a lot. I hope you. Uh, I hope to see more constructive criticism about the theme tune because obviously it's an important part of this. Right. So on Thursday, I um, posted a video uh, that was talking about an NFT venture. Um, th- there's a reason. There was a reason why I was sort of hesitant to post this video in the first place because um, I think my YouTube audience, uh, my treasured folk that uh, lay eyes upon the things that I do here, um, are not necessarily interested in me as a musician, but um, rather my musings and um, reflections on stuff that's happening in the music world and beyond. Um, and I understand that me as a musical artiste isn't necessarily of interest to everybody here. Um, so I was a little bit nervous about using this platform to, to announce something like that anyway. Um, and sure enough, uh, the reaction was so negative that I had to take it down and reconsider not just how I use the YouTube, but also um, NFTs in general, really. Um, I was educated and I, I thank you for that. Um, I, I understand a lot of the concerns relating to that platform. Um, but for me personally, I was I was considering it because it's, it seemed like something that was nicely disruptive, nicely uh, unlikely to sort of cannibalize my efforts with the darkness. We are still in the middle of a campaign for the Motorheart album. Um, so I'm not looking to do like a solo album in the traditional sense. I was looking for a way of, of putting something out that wasn't um, a traditional release and not interested in streaming to you know streaming services or anything like that. Really, I just I wanted to just put some music out. Really, um, but evidently NFTs are deeply offensive to a lot of people for more than one reason. Um, obviously, there's a concern about the environment you know because of the the way that um uh i suppose cryptocurrency is is uh mined is uh it causes a lot of uh it causes an enormous what's it called a carbon footprint um but that's actually why i was talking about using this company called serenade who apparently they operate on a polygon blockchain which is not the same as a normal blockchain it's actually um much more eco-friendly um and in fact, <laughs> probably the comments that were, you know, written on that video in the short time that it was up um, would probably have done more damage environmentally than it would, 
you know that, that would be caused by minting an nft in that particular way um but that's not really the point is it i think um I apologise because I, it's not the right place to do that sort of thing anyway. Um, I appreciate that some people were sort of um, sceptical of NFTs on a, on a on a sort of on a basis that's not just ecological. Like they they think that it's um, some kind of con or a, or a scam or something. And some folk were gracious enough to give me the benefit of the doubt as to my intentions with this. It's not like I was selling a picture of my ass for two million quid or whatever it is that sometimes happens in that sphere. Um, but it was the wrong place to discuss it. Um, and I don't think, well, I, I just need to have a rethink about how I'm going to do this. Um, from here on in, though, you have my word that I won't be using this this platform to promote anything that I do, um, aside from like links to the various artistic endeavours that I'm, uh, you know, working on. Uh, links will be in descriptions, but beyond that, that's that's it. Some, somebody said, uh, I can't believe you're being so corny. And actually, that is how I felt. I had like this nagging doubt before the video went up that it wasn't the right thing. And that was confirmed, really. So thanks for that. Um, Paul did say, um, to be clear, many of us would love you to do a collaboration with other artists. Great idea. Um, and profit from it. Just not as an NFT. So I understand those concerns and appreciate it. Thanks. Um, but as I said, from here on in, if, you, if you're interested in anything that I do musically, you can go to the Patreon. Link's in the description. And that's all I have to say, really. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a live. Um, it won't be about anything specific, actually. I'm just going to do like a Q&A thing. You know, welcome to join the conversation. I'm not sure what time we're doing. It's six o'clock UK time, I think. Is that right? That'll be confirmed in the description as well. Um, nonetheless, I bid you all adieu. Thank you very much for watching. And um, like, subscribe, sign up for the alerts. Justin Hawkins right again A few people said that I should turn up the guitar um, when I'm doing the intros and outros apparently it's been inaudible but that's because sometimes I just forget to push the fader up because uh, I'm still getting used to all this stuff just bear with me okay again and watch one of these two videos cheers <laughs> <laughs>